The iPhone is the best smartphone out there and iOS the best operating system on a mobile platform. But most people don't know about the most powerful capabilities of iOS because Apple has hidden them. There is so much more you can do with your iPhone once you master one technique, which opens up a lot of possibilities previously unknown to you. And that is the powerful multi-touch drag and drop feature. Drag and drop existed for a long time on the Mac and for several years now on the iPad, especially since you could use multiple apps side by side on the iPad. But the iPhone lacked this powerful feature for quite some time, and the feature was only introduced last year in iOS 15. But somehow, most people I come across don't know about it. In this video, I will not only show you the technique, but also over 20 ways you can do stuff on the iPhone previously thought impossible. You can use this one simple technique on mails, reminders, web pages, contacts, calendar events, files, notes, voice memo, music tracks, albums and playlists, photos, podcasts, news articles, files, and even selected text snippets. So here's the technique. Step one, selecting one or more elements for the drag operation. First, with one finger, I mostly use my right index finger, you press and hold on an item. Here, I'm using a mail as an example in the list. Once the cell of the mail table lifts up, and in this case, the preview is shown, you move the finger without lifting it from the screen to either side until the preview turns again to a cell, which is now glued to your finger. Sometimes it is necessary to do a little swirl movement to achieve this. Now that you have glued the first item to your finger, you can add more items, so males in this example, simply by tapping on them with another finger. And a counter on the top right corner of the cell, which is glued to, to your finger, indicates how many elements you have selected. If you can't really move the cell freely around, so if there is a bit of restraint, and if the background stays blurred while you move the cell around, this indicates that this table or element doesn't support drag and drop. Step two, switching to the target app and dropping the item. So first, while not lifting the finger with the glued two items, using another finger you move to the home screen, either by using the swipe up gesture or using the home button if available. You then tap on the app you want to switch to. Alternatively, you can go to the app switcher by swiping up only about one fifth of the screen or double pressing the home button and there switch to the target app. Unfortunately, you cannot search for the target app because during drag and drop, the keyboard won't show up. And once you are in the app, you either go to the view or the list or document where you want to drop the content. With any of your free fingers, you can also switch views or even create new documents. Once you are at your target location, you see the top right corner of the glued to your finger item turn into a green plus icon. And this means you can drop it here. Depending on the target app, the result of the drop might be different. Some apps only paste in text, others text plus a backlink, others rich links, others might create rich text files, or you know, they just simply import the link or the photo or whatever you selected. It all depends. I will give you several examples in the following chapters, but the best rule is to try it out for yourself with any apps you wish to combine and see how they work with a drag and drop. Now that you've learned the move, let's see what we can do with it on the iPhone. And if you enjoy this content, by the way, don't be too shy to hit the like and subscribe button at any time. It's much appreciated. From Apple Mail, you can bring single mails into reminders with a backlink to the mail. Each reminder can only have one mail link. So if you select multiple emails, you will create multiple reminders. In Apple Notes, you create text from the subject with links back to the email. In third-party task management systems, I use things three here, you create tasks which also include a backlink to the mail. In Apple Calendar, you can create an event from a mail which also includes a backlink to the mail. In the Files app, you can save them as EML files in a folder of your choice. You can't, however, view these files natively on iOS. No problem on the Mac here, but for this, you need the free app called EML Viewer. I put the link in the description. You can create rich calendar events by adding attachments to it, like photos or files. You can drag an event from calendar to an email or iMessage to create an ICS file. Dragging one or multiple Apple Notes into the Files app will create rich text files, RTFD. Dragging a note into Apple Reminders will create a reminder including a backlink to the note. 
Dragging a voice memo into either the files app or into a mail or iMessage will create an M4A file. Or you can add it to a calendar event or lots of other apps. You can drag any track, album or playlist from Apple Music to apps like Apple Notes, Apple Reminders or Apple Calendar to create a rich link to the track, album or playlist. Highly useful if you created a playlist for a certain date or like I do if you want to include some focus music for a checklist in Apple Notes. You can drag the link of any website into Apple Reminders, Apple Calendar, Apple Notes, Apple Mail and many more. Often they will be rendered as beautiful cards like in Apple Notes. You can do the same with any element of a web page like a picture or a URL. You can drag and drop images from your photo library into Notes, Reminders, Calendar Events or many other apps like Apple Pages. You can drag and drop files from the Files app into calendar events, emails or iMessages. Any text you can select on a web page or in an app, you can drag and drop directly into Apple Mail, iMessage, Calendar Reminders, Apple Notes and many other apps. You can also drag it directly into the Files app to save it as a formatted text file in any folder. For news articles, I'm using Fiery Feeds as an example here. I put the link in the description. You can drag articles here into Apple Notes or any app which accepts links. While Apple's podcast player doesn't support drag and drop yet, third-party apps like Overcast, again, the link is in the description, do support drag and drop. Again, you can create rich links to specific podcasts episodes in Apple Notes or any other note app or in the Reminders app. Drag one or multiple contacts into a reminder, an event, a note or even the files app. This will create a VCF file. In an email, you can either create a recipient by dragging it into the to CC or BCC or as a VCF attachment. Dragging it into the recipients field could be useful if you have a contact group, for instance, and would quickly drag multiple contacts for a mail into one of those fields. You can move a reminder to your calendar app to create an event and therefore time book it. Unfortunately, no backlink is created here. Apple, you should work on that one. Wow, these were over 20 ideas for how you can use drag and drop on the iPhone. And these are by far not all ways to use it. You should try and experiment with the apps you use. So a lot of third party apps already do support drag and drop operations. If you want to learn more stuff you could do with Apple Mail and connecting it to anything else, here is your next video. Well, I hope you got some good ideas you can use in your iPhone life. Leave me a comment below what is your most used drag and drop operation. So, bye for now and looking forward to see you in the next video.